Hello, this is John Kitzdiner, and this is another episode of our life here in the farm. What I am showing you here is a mobile or semi-mobile guinea hen house. Uh, what we've got going on is our guinea hens are getting way too big for their brooders, um, but they're not yet mature yet. And uh, we need something that's going to be able to house them and uh, for the next week or two until they get a little bit bigger and uh, we can start uh, letting them free range a bit. Um, all of this wood here is all from our uh, an old barn that was torn down and most of the wood was actually sold for scrap by the previous owner. Or I shouldn't say scrap for um, craft wood and the such. And uh, what was left was a bunch of um, odd beams and a bunch of one by twos um, that we decided to utilize for this uh, structure. And um, almost all of the uh, wood that is used, I, sh I should say all the wood that is used has been recycled. Um, we did have to get the, uh, oh, the hardware fabric uh, for, the, uh, for the vents and for the front section. Um, I still have to put on a door, but before I put on the other side of the roof, I wanted to show the inside of it where we have our roosts. Uh, what I have here is about 26 uh, feet of roost space, um, and I'm, ad I'm adding, uh, I'm anticipating about a good one foot of roost space per bird, maybe a little bit more, but you know, some guineas do get big. And so I've got kind of this crisscross pattern on the bottom. Uh, once this whole side is uh, put in, or uh, I should say covered, this is the other expense that we had to uh, get was this uh, um, metal roofing. But we found a local place that manufactures it, uh, as I said, local. Uh, so it's very cheap. It's about a buck a foot um, uh, for a three foot width. So that's not too bad uh, under just you know around 20 bucks or so for the total cost for the roofing. Um, the idea for this back hatch here is that during the summer, we're gonna have a screened area so that this can uh, uh, keep flowing through, but we're gonna be able to, we're gonna lock it down here. During the winter months, we're gonna have this door that I'll put on hinges uh, locked up here. And um, if for the rare occasion that a uh, Guinea decides to lay an egg in here and we are <laughs> don't really have access to it uh, We'll just use a fruit picker and uh, reach in there scoop up the egg and uh, pull it out And uh, but I wanted to give a, a good picture of what we've got going on here uh, This is what I've kind of spent the, a good part of my week building uh, You know lots of angles <laughs> It makes it a lot, the angles, the A-frame structure makes it a lot more stable, significantly more stable, and where we're gonna be putting is gonna have a little bit more wind uh, exposure. But with all these angles, creates a lot more uh, complicated cuts. And thank goodness that I have uh, my father here who is a master, a true master carpenter, um, and uh, um, kind of uh, continues to give me guidance in all this, even though I grew up doing a lot of this stuff with him. Uh, he uh, is a wealth of uh, resource and information uh, for every project that we do here. So anyway, uh, that's just another update of what we got going on here. Um, hopefully later on I'll be able to show you uh, the guineas inside their new home. Uh, that's it for now. This is John Kitzdanner in Bulls Gap, Tennessee.